Hello everyone, welcome back to Livat channel. So today on the audio that bringer day number two. This time we are up to stage nine. So after practicing some teams, I want to share the one I, I found that are under one minute. So first one is Nebula. You should know her right now. She is she hit super hard. Then we partner her with Roland for the stun. For the third hero, you can use anything basically. If you want Nebula to survive better, maybe you can use Noel or maybe Veronica or Ferris or Shub. If you want to be safer, then you can use the Resurrection Ring instead. If you want faster clear, you can use like Kaede. And then for the champion, Ideally, you use Galahad. But since Nebula is fast enough, we can use Franz if you want faster kill. If you don't have Galahad, you can use another champion for, for Nebula. So we just need to 3 chain Nebula So yeah, this happened So better make sure you have the Resurrection Ring Or chain Kaede Let's go with Noel. Okay, let's go with Galahad. So this time is around 15 seconds. If you use Kaede, you should be able to reach <coughs> like 12 seconds like that. Next we have, let's see. We can use one with the Lion Mask. Preferably using this damage reduction build and the armor set with Critical resistant 25%. So with this, the boss won't be able to deal any critical damage to Lion Mask. Ring, I also go with damage reduction. You can also you go with uh, Resurrection Ring. Next, for the key, we will use Yeo Wudong. For this one, also damage reduction because of the poison damage. Next, we can use with we can go either with Lupeo or Nasrune. Nasrun. How do you call this? Nasrun. If you for Nasrune, you can go with France because Nasrune will debuff the boss, become weaker. Yeah, let's see. Each beast decreases the hit enemies' attack power, armor, resistance by 50% uh, here 
also decrease the enemy's accuracy, evasion and critical chance. So it's easier to survive with this. If you are using Lupeo, then you will be using the champion Lia. For, for more evasion. This team roughly around 40-50 seconds clear. So this time kinda slowly but barely under one minute. Earlier I got like 45 seconds. If you don't like this then you can use Lupeo with the champion Lia. Oh eh no. Ah I forgot to use the level 50 bone skill that's why we don't have enough block this one also around 40 seconds Oh yeah, Lupio is is riskier than when using Nasrune because we didn't have any debuff on the boss, so this could happen. already
let's forget this. Go back with Rasnure. Nasrun. Let's go with the next team. Next team, we have the usual, the Ibelin team. So for this one, for we, we use Lee to stun. Okay, Lee. Then we have Sasquatch. Next, we have Guerunica to keep them survive alive. So you want, you might be thinking why so much attack power and critical damage? Because our damage will be from Ibelin. When an ally deals a critical hit, Ibelin deals physical damage equal to 100% of her attack power to all enemies. So Ibelin starts scale with all the three heroes, 70% of it. So we want as we want to get high. For goddess, you can use Bella or Aubrey. If Bella doesn't, Aubrey should be safer. But if you want the faster, you can go with Bella. So we just need to spam very hard. Just spam as fast as possible. Then we'll be done. So this one is around 20 seconds. If you go a bit slower, you, if you are not using the attack power and critical damage build of Guerrerica, you'll be around 25 seconds, 26 seconds. Next, we have the other, the Meta Hunter. A shark, shark. This one will be using critical damage and attack power with the lifesteal. And then we can pair with Rael for the stun. The third hero main job is to keep Rael alive. So for this one, after testing some, we can use Linne. Because Linne gives a lot of healing. Increase healing and then also damage reduction. Or you can use Cronet. Cronet gives big heals. Really big heals. Like where this one. It heals the entire team by 700% 700 of attack power per second. You do, if you don't have this, you can use Victoria. Victoria gives ignore damage equal to her, to her armor. All allies near the summon flag ignore amount of the damage equal to 1000% of Victoria armor. So we build her full of armor. For champion, we using Galahad for the damage, for the critical resistance. This one we need do need to get the Victoria flag early. If not, Raya can die. We don't have any restriction here, so it can be dangerous at the beginning. Probably later for the higher stage, you we want to use Linne to get enough blocks. Let's go with Cronet.
and lastly Lene. Lene using the damage reduction. The chronic it was full attack power for the most healing. They all three are free around 37 seconds, 38, almost 40 seconds. Next one will involve the collaboration hero. We'll be using Alfin. For this one, we rely on this revolution hammer for the stuns. Next we have the DPS which is Pius. And then the damage buffer Haruki. For this one we're using Galahad and we just spam really hard. Actually we should be able to yeah Galahad. I had to be safer, safer. We just quick, really, really fast. This one should be capable of reaching below 30 seconds if fast enough. If they, you can click fast enough. Around 25 seconds. I don't think if they could survive without Galahad. Let's try. Ah, Grius. Yeah, they can't survive. Next we have this one can not can this one doesn't need to use Galahad. We will rely on Spiny. Spiny? Spinny? Spin Y? So they're still the same Haruki and then Spiny. And then Osma. This one we can use Agrius. Also the same, we just need to spam one chain. This one should be around 34 seconds Yeah, 34 seconds Next we have the Sodden base, we can Sodden. 
Before that, let me change ala sobang weapon. Come on. So still the same double critical chance with the armor set And then Hala with armor build For this one you can use either Rail or Lion Mask This one somehow can use not Galahad also, but if you feel not safe, use Galahad. If you are using with Raya, Hala, and Leader Soden, this one should be able to clear under 20 seconds. If lucky, maybe 15 seconds. We need to use Aubrey For Sodom we need to use Aubrey Because this Doc Anubis Reduce our armor by 50% This hurts Sodom a lot Let's change to Aubrey So this time it's 19 seconds, 20 seconds. If you're lucky, you can get 15 seconds. You can also lead Hala. But this one usually, this one is like 23 seconds. Because we didn't get the overflowing determination as we skip from Sodan. So this this is last buff. Maybe close to 30 seconds. Yeah, this one is slower. Next one, this one resolve. This one need collaboration, so we're using Harov. And Jacko. Jacko? Jacko? We need to lead Jacko and then to keep them survive. Guerunica can keep them survive, but really slow. So this one, for the faster one, we need to use Galahad. Hey, Linne. And then with Galahad and Bella. I haven't CGL Jacko, so this one might fail a lot. But if everything works fine, it's around 25 seconds. This one also just need to spam. This one can lag the game a lot because a lot of animation.
my jack o died so this one is reduced speed let's try again recommendation is using the uh, sp set the generate sp so we can get more shadow mage from jacko to get more sp from haro to get more damage the same 33 seconds <laughs> lastly this one seems risky because we'll be using lupeo and then hala with the damage reduction build and then uri this one is collaboration sadly I seen faster result if we are using evasion build, but since I only have one, mine is damage, damage reduction build. This one will be using three chain Lupeo to get the Hala attack power buff. This one do need to tap faster or click faster. But it's doable if you want to try for the faster clear speed. So it's around 23 seconds. So that's it that I have the team for today. See you tomorrow. Bye bye.